Fitler like FD, Danny Min here, and welcome back to another episode of Parkosaurus. In the last episode, we got our rat back and back in there, sort of happy over here playing away. Uh, we've got an egg. We do have an egg. Did the Kentosaurus have an egg? Yeah, it did. They did, but we already, we already brought Otto into the world. So I hope he has fun. We still have to decorate this area, which I will do. I think I'll do that offline. Uh, we are going to pop you out, my little friend. I can't see you. There you are. Oh, straight in. Don't go into the long grass. And that is why. Because raptors live there. So he's going for food. Their social has gone up to 100 now that they've got a new friend. Look. <clears throat> Happy. Is that your mother? Or father? Gertrude? DNA parent. <clears throat> no, it doesn't look like you have a kid. But the the kid is happy. Otto is happy. So he can remain as is. Uh, today we're going to build an enclosure here. We're going to get our Gastonias in. Uh, I've just noticed a bit of fence that seems to have gone AWOL. Let's remove that. That's better. And let's build the exhibit out here. Now, what does Gastonia require? Uh, Carnotaurus, Gastonia. So it's prairie and it's medium. So 490 feet times four is like 1,960. These are all roughly about 2,000 feet. So we'll build out an enclosure here and see how, see how it looks. So we'll just go with this wall to start with. Uh, this is my now go-to wall. Uh, we need to leave room. Yes, you need to leave room for stuff up the back. Uh, yeah, this, this area is quite large. Wait, go there. It normally gives you a purple marker. Ah, so we need to come one back. Uh, in fact, <clears throat> just bring this from up here. That's going to be your your best bet. Right, so let's remove this piece of fence. I totally missed what the size of this enclosure was. <clears throat> it was 1,000... Oh, 1,656 feet. That's pretty short, actually. So what I think I'm going to do... So I want this food area in here, and the last big dinosaur is the Brachiosaurus that needs to go in there, is I may eliminate this path to one, <clears throat> maybe, uh, will we, yeah, so have, get your path in, so I kind of want for Desert Prairie this sort of path, and bring it out. Yeah, bring it all the way down to about there. That's perfect. That joins on there. And we're going to extend this out. One, two, three, four. Extend it out by four. Because I don't want it to go all the way to the path. So bring you out four. Yep. <gasps> bring you down to there. Yep. And then bring this in to here. Right, it's now 2,207 feet. Hold on. <laughs> so, that also means 207 feet. That we've only got like 1,800 feet. Which again, is not enough. So we may have to extend it one over. And again, I do not think that will be enough. Uh, 1,932, we are so close. So close. Uh, how much do I need? 490. I think it's 1960 is what I actually need. Uh, let's just check that. So 490 times 4 equals... Yeah, 1960 is the, the exhibit size for four Gastonias that we actually need. So we are 30 off. Right, I believe I can get 30 if I just extend this wall out one more uh, i'd rather have it be a shorter path at this side and leave this larger area 
because I have a plan for that. We're going to get more food and stuff in there. And uh, let's bring you out to there. Yeah, 2,001 feet. That is perfect. That's the perfect size that we need. Uh, we probably won't be able to add anything down here. But there will be benches and bathrooms and stuff over here. And there will be benches here. And there will be benches and maybe some food area over this way. Uh, so that's going to be just fine. Uh, get me my path. In fact, you could have extended... Yeah, we could have literally extended it out one this way. So you can get some benches in there. Okay. Now I want to do this. I want to do this correctly. First time. So I don't have to do it again. Right, delete that one as well. Uh, grab the fence. Yes, please. You're going to go from there to there. And then you're going to delete this section here. There we go. <clears throat> Perfect. Uh, grab the fence again. And this should take us back up to our 2001 or whatever it was. Yeah, 2001. Right, that's perfect. There is also a gap here for grass. But I want this at that side so I can get some benches and stuff in here. Some potted plants, etc. Maybe some bushes or flowers if this water extends far enough. But I do not believe that it will. I think we're going to be just slightly short there. Uh, but it's okay. <coughs> and it's also desert bio that we need as well. So go and grab sand tail. Now I'm going to make even... Well, I'm going to make... The one line out here is going to be desert as well. And I'll maybe get some water over this side and like here and maybe there and then we can place some cactuses or something over here next to the benches uh, but what does our gastonia need now it needs a door obviously uh, i'm just gonna give it this standard steel door because i've not actually used this yet and uh, maybe get a couple of them maybe get another one up here i don't know why you need one up here but there's there there is one there uh, now, our Gastonias don't really try to break out much, or they shouldn't. And I'm going to give them this uh, sort of wall here. So I want... Yeah, make it the opposite of... Make it the opposite of this wall, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, or almost the opposite of this wall. Uh, yeah, get some over the side. Uh, I do believe that people can actually see through this this wall here. I'm just not too sure about it. It's not massively well <laughs> explained. Now, I'm actually just going to take this down to here. And I'm going to leave that there. And I'm going to get an area, a little area, just sort of in here. Right, so there we go. We need to turn this into prairie, so let's bring up the... So prairie needs water, and it needs height. That's okay. Uh, right, now I kind of wanted my plan of getting flowers or plants. <coughs> so make this a four. Yeah, it's still not enough water, but that's perfect. So I can add some water in. Maybe over here, just a little pond or something. Uh, maybe there. Maybe take that down. Remembering also that you need to bring the height up. So let's start bringing up the height. And you're going to need room, a place, toys, and whatever the hell it is they need. Oh, we're already up to prairie. Prairie is in, and it's bang right in the middle. Awesome. Right, so you need a couple of trees, you need bushes. Where are the bushes? Uh, scenery. Yes, here we go. So, where's the level 2? Or oh, tier 1. Uh, tier 1. Tier 1. So, where's the, where's the level 2 stuff? Can I change your tier? 
maybe. Uh, two or one. One, one. One, one. Two or two, right. So we need a couple of these. And this gets this bar up. I've only just realized that this bar is, uh, is actually there. And now that I'm aware that it's there, I have been placing a lot of stuff. Right, the trees are not taking anything up anymore, but there should be level two, or we can actually go and throw in some, some level one trees. A couple of musket trees. Ooh, that planted over there. I kinda wanted you to go there. That's fine, it's fine. Do as you wish there, game. Uh, so we're almost done on trees. Let's get a couple of elm trees. Because, why the hell not? One in the corner there. Remembering, also, that you need to be able to place their toys and stuff. Yes, I know. I know. So tier two is this thing. Okay. So a couple of these. Lined around the joint there. That's going up. There must be some tier two rocks as well, right? Uh, who knew rocks had a ranking? But here they do. Uh, yeah, just grab a bit of everything, I think. The, the good old bunny ears. Uh, and it goes. I do believe my mother's. Uh, my girlfriend's mother has one of these. In her house, a cactus that's like this, the, the sort of bunny ears here. Don't know why, but uh, she must keep it well fed because it's been alive for as, for as long as I can remember. I don't know how incredibly difficult it would be to keep a cactus alive. I suppose it just needs a bit of water now and again. Uh, if it needs sunlight, Ultimately, it's going to be screwed because we live in Scotland and there ain't no sunlight here. Uh, tier one, yeah, the rocks are all the same. So let's just get some up on the some up in the hills here. Make it proper rocky. Uh, make it just rocky in this area. Yeah, okay. Because you've got other stuff to place there. Uh, maybe grab some of these. Maybe get some of these in the in the water. All right, I think we are good for our enclosure here. Uh, specialist items. Do we want to give them any? Right, start with the feeders. Don't get carted away on specialist items. I want a feeder there. These are medium dinosaurs, so they are going to need uh, bushes. That. And I'm going to give you the tree stump or the tree or the log feeder. Go with the log feeder. I'll give you the stump feeder. Because I think it has a, a better buff for them in order to keeping them healthy and stuff. Right, so medium dinosaurs. Uh, it looks like it's going to be the flat rock shelter again. Now there is a tier cave shelter. Tier 3 for a small dinosaur. That's no use. Medium rocks shelter. How come you are tier three? Why do I not have tier two, tier three barn shelter for a large dinosaur? Do I not have? See, that's tier three. So I've been adding in the different ones, but I think they just want. Yeah, I think they. Maybe just giving them the tier threes would probably be a better idea. And I can fit one in there. That we know. I think I need like three or four of these. Put that in there and hopefully the the veterinarians will still be able to get through. One there. Perhaps a smaller one. Because I do believe these are smaller. Hmm. Okay. Abandon. Abandon the smaller one. Right. Go with... No, I don't sort of want that where they eat. That'll be fine. Right. So we'll grab them. A mud pit. 
the dinosaurs love their mud pits. In fact, get the shower in first because it's always relatively difficult to place this. I'm going to place it. No, because then your veterinarian won't be able to use that door. Now, if that would have went in there, that would have been easy. Yeah, place it there. So it looks like the water is going into the stream. Then place these things. Okay, one there. Uh, one over... Yeah, I'll get a mud pit there. Pretty sure they can walk through the mud pit. The veterinarians. Get a ball up there. The punching bag is quite big, so I'm going to place that up there. Uh, the back scratcher. Can go over here next to the log feeder. Uh, this thing, we absolutely love that thing. You always see the deck in a box. Here, have a box. Have a pumpkin. Pumpkin can go in. Oh, I was about to say it can go in the corner there, but it actually can't. There's something there that's blocking it. Tire. Can go at this side. The bone. The weird tree thing. Weird spinny tree thing. Yeah, rear spinny tree thing can go over there. Uh, yep. Yeah. That'll do. That will do. We'll get this right outside the front of the cave. Uh, do I want anything for this? The skull tree. Don't know what this ghost symbol is. Or the castle symbol. Security camera. The windmill. The mother tree. Do you want a mother tree? If I can fit a mother tree in, I will give you one. Doesn't, well, it can go there, but it looks stupid. Okay, no mother tree for you. Uh, last but not least, we need privacy grass. So we need the, the sort of savannah grass tail, which is really cool. I love all the, the tall grass tails. I think they look fantastic. Uh, some of that went outside. Can some of that stay outside? Just sort of clipping through the wall. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, some there. Yeah, quite a large area over here. Maybe some next to their their beds. Uh, some over there down the back. I think that should be fine. I don't want to overload the area with privacy tile something I, I i do because i actually really like the look of it i think that should be good we need to set these to bushes maybe should have done that to start with so that our veterinarians could actually come in and load these up uh, bushes yep hello hello there log feeder that eludes me right bushes Excellent. So they are going to go and restock that, hopefully shortly. And then we can get our Gastonias back in. So it's a Carnotaurus. There's a Gastonia right here. Just place that there. It doesn't matter where you place it. Uh, out he pops. Or she pops. Uh, and here's Kobe. The last Gastonia right there. Is it the last one? Let's just check Spinos, Brachys. We have to do the Brachiosaurus next. Coelophysis, Apatosaurus, Tyrannosaurus Rex, Cosmos, Brachys, Ornithomimus, Ornithomimus, and Tyrannosaurus Rex. Right, so we've got our Gastonias back in. One of them has laid an egg instantly, which is pretty astonishing. Let's have a look at them. They're cool. They don't have the club on the tail like the Ankylosaurus, but they are still pretty smart. Right, so on to the next enclosure, uh, which is the, the Brachiosaurus enclosure. Now, I always thought that the Brachiosaur lived in sort of grasslands or like desert and stuff. Uh, uh, no, grasslands are like swamp, so they could get the, the lush high trees and stuff. Apparently they don't. Uh, so what does the Brachiosaurus need? Where are you, my friend? Spino, Spino. 
Agnes. It needs Prairie as well. So I basically just need this, but on a larger scale. So what we're going to do is take our awesome super duper wall again. I'm going to go as far as here. And I'm not going to go from that side because it is easier to match up this side. Uh, go to that there. And then grab it from this side here. And go there. 3,933, which I think is pretty large. Yeah, it is. It is large. We might gift the Brachiosaurus with a larger exhibit. Why the hell not? Uh, it's one of the last, definitely the last, sort of uncommon and common gem one that we've got. Right, so this biome is literally nothing at the moment, but I want sand, and I want you to go on our desert, actually, I want this tile here to all be desert as well. Uh, get me some footpath. Right, I've got lots of stuff to build up the back there, which I will do. Uh, bring that path out to there. That's sweet. Uh, bring this path out to here. Now, I think we should get the wrecks up in this area as well. Even though it's an, uh, a common or uncommon gem type, I think every park needs or would need a Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's one of the main attractions, obviously. So I think it'd be nice to get that in. Again, I'm gonna put some water right down to this side. Uh, so grab that. I also need a door so that people can actually get into this. Uh, how much water are you going with there? Dan Ayard, you're uh, <laughs> I was about to cover the whole thing in water. Okay, so that's moved it up. At least somewhat. Hey, it's now Savannah. I want slightly more. Yeah, that's kind of matching. Almost matching. Right, so we need to raise it up. Uh, I want to sort of raise in... I raise up, whoa, don't raise up the water, because the water will literally disappear if you do that. Right, that's prairie, but it's not enough prairie. I want prairie over here as well. And I want this to sort of be a cool, cool looking sort of valley area. Right, it's, it's, it's a bit high now, but it's okay. We can still get all our stuff in. Uh, right, back to doors. So we need a door. Let's give it a cool gigantuan door right there. I'm going to give it another door up here. There we go. Now that is great. But you also need a stronger fence. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm going to go with the electric fence. I know that the Brachiosaurs are not massively violent creatures and every single one of the dinosaurs in our our park here are, is like super happy so they never ever try to break out but it's still a large dinosaur that could instantly squash a human being so yeah, we kind of like it to be safe. And this gives them, this gives us high strength. It gives them a bit of privacy as well. A slight bit of privacy. Which is not too bad. And then I want a little bit, whoa. A little bit over here. Right, that's kind of cool. Uh, trees, trees is next order of business. Uh, so I believe 
this thing here gave us the I'm gonna make a like like an oasis area over here and here and then when that bar there stops moving which I think it has now I'll add another tree so I want things like wait is that yeah it is it is a desert biome tree that's fine now let's sort of higher trees over here uh, maybe swap it out with some of these. Alright, that's fine for that area. In fact, I'll maybe get like a couple of iron woods. There. And then I want coconut small, no, I want large. Okay, so that is. These are large, but they're. kind of squint and these are going to be little oasis areas over here and what else is cool from this trees this thing the elm tree uh, I was gonna place a couple of elm trees in the middle but maybe just place some over there there we go it's a nice area for them right the cactus or cacti get some of them in over here Right. Why is my green not going up anymore? I don't know. It is, it is kind of going up. Okay. There we go. I think we're full up there. I'll add one more just for good measure. And then we'll start adding in some... Some other type... Types of cactus. Let's spin around because I can't really see this area. The park is closing in five seconds. That's fine because I, I don't think it was it was open to begin with. <laughs> it's been closed for some time. Normally due to the fact that when there's a lot of people in the park, the frame rate basically plummets uh, out of existence. I've not done these sagueros in some time, so let's get some of them. We've still got quite a lot of stuff to place in order for this to be up. So the prairie, prairie lands need a lot of bushes, which is fine. Right, we're there, we're there now though. Right, rocks, let's grab the rocks and place them up the top of these areas. And that should be good. Should be good. Uh, grab me some of the smaller. Oh, right, that was small rocks. Uh, grab me some of these in the water. Just at this side, because that's the sort of rocky area. Right, we are good. Now, on to this so they are large dinosaurs so they need one of these here i am gonna get another one over there and then we're gonna get one of these right here they need the large shelter now this is cool the crystal that's cool as well medium-sized dinosaur i think it's this large dino yeah 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 Hold on, spin you round. I mean, we could get this. This is tier three as well. The barn shelter. This is something I've not really used. I suppose we could use it now. It does look. It does look slightly out of place. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a fourth one. Maybe something like that. Yeah, it's pretty rough. I'm sure they'll be fine. There will be three of them in. Yeah, adding that fourth shelter is, uh, is challenging. Because these shelters are so big. Anywho, let's give them their enrichment. Let's do 
this thing first. You right there. Let's grab a couple of mud pits for them. One round the back here. Maybe one over here. Your litter tray can go over there. Uh, beach ball. Can go up there. This thing that they love to... <gasps> they love to play with that. Uh, yep. This ball thing. What the hell? <laughs> ball on a string. Or ball on a stick. Or whatever. The cardboard box. I mean, these are obviously low tier. Some of them are low tier enrichment items. But there's so many of them. I don't think it really affects how they sort of... It, it, it doesn't really affect their happiness or anything because there's so much stuff for them to play with. Uh, where do I want the back scratcher to go? Somewhere where they can actually get it. And I'm sort of running out of space. Right, go there. Back scratcher. We'll leave out the punching bag and some other stuff. That should be enough enrichment items for them. We will give them the ability to have a child. And uh, do we want anything in here? This thing? I don't know. What does this do? Magical tower. Do you guys want a magical tower? You can have a magical tower. Have a magical tower there. Don't know what it does. But it's in. Right, let's get these done as well with tree leaves. So that my guys can go in and get them done straight away. Uh, tree leaves. Right, so they are good. Very well done there, sir. He's going in. We've got a baby Gastonia. Hello. Pop. Oh. Leonard. From the Big Bang Theory. He's happy. He's hungry. He wants to play. And he's only 51%. Wow. Your dinosaur is very healthy at 50%. So that's a good sign. <laughs> Right, we need privacy tile over here for these guys, and then we'll literally be good to get them back into the world. Yeah, I want some. You're gonna need. You're gonna need some pretty large areas of privacy grass here. This is a large exhibit. And that's one of the things I've noticed I've not been doing very well is dinosaurs that have larger exhibits, I've not been putting as much privacy grass in them. And it really affects the, the, the dinos when I eventually let people back into the park to, uh, to check the old frame right there. This should be good. Is that enough? Do you think that's enough? See, I don't think it is enough. It could be enough. It could possibly be enough. Add some over there. Get some down the side of the hill here. I don't think... Yeah, some can be placed there. Right, I think that's going to be just fine. Now, where is Spino, Carno, Spino, Brachiosaurus? Uh, hello? Back in you go. Brachiosaurus number one. He's happy. Or she's happy. Agnes, she's happy. Uh, you are very low on... Ah, because you don't have your friends. Don't worry. We'll get your friends. And uh, we'll put the second one there. There you go. As soon as they... 70%. Uh, now hold on, because it looks like... If I add the third Brachiosaurus, is it only going to bring it up to 80% or is it going to send us up to 100? Yeah, it only brings it up by 80. But they can have a kid and then bring it up. Uh, let's really move these along because we've now got these weird, horrible gaps. In fact, if I close this and open this...
That's kind of annoying. I really hope that it would configure it on its own. <laughs> right, so that is everything. Everything here is a rare gem or epic gem. So that goes into the next part. I am going to build, in the next episode, we're going to build up the the T-Rex enclosure over here. And we'll give it the volcano and stuff. We'll make it kind of cool. I will finish all the sort of gubbins around the edges and stuff here. I'll probably do that offline. We've got a absolute ridiculous amount of science. For some reason, I have no food. Yeah, I think that's a bug that doesn't show you where your plants and stuff are. <laughs> There we go, we've got 9,169 now, but I'm pretty sure we've got more than that. No, maybe we don't, because there's only... I can't see the plants. 273 plants. I don't really have that much small dinosaurs. Or do I? Go to the shop. Vegetables. Yeah, grass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, add to daily. 40. Medium cuts and large cuts are still down. But there's so much of that now. We're going to be good. Okay, so next episode we'll get the Tyrannosaurus in here. We'll open up the park and let people in. What I have been neglecting as well is my training. Uh, for example, you are now going to be a ridiculously high level I would imagine there we go uh, I don't know where you are my friend are you in training? you are now the training building is we are over there have you again left it in a place where you can't get the people maybe maybe I pick you up, pop you down there, grab me a job, veterinarian, level, actually, go with level, uh, go down, so these are all the 30s, anyone who's not at 20, so you are security, 20, 20, 16, a veterinarian, you, 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 you are going into training purgatory, for a while, there we go, trade, excellent, right, back to skill points, ah, go to the top, 18, uh, wall of chip, let's get you up, let's do 8 there, uh, one more level, and you can come out of training there, my friend, uh, H.E. Dieter, he deter. We are name. Uh, right, let's go. 20. So you're basically done. Uh, I'm going to get your personality up. Don't know why. But you can come out of training purgatory as well. Now I'll level everyone up. And then I'll... Whoa. So these guys are almost fully... Almost fully leveled up. Yeah, there we go. There's a veterinarian that's leveling up on our own. So that is perfect. That's what we need. I think we've got enough staff now. Maybe when the park opens, we could use some more security, possibly. But the veterinarians, I think, we're fine. Because they're, they're such a high level now. Ha! Bella Tegas is leveled up. So we're just leveling up her personality now. One, two, and three. Yeah, some of these are almost at 30. I don't think I have, apart from Bella Tegas, is the only one who's maxed out in speed and ability. Uh, but let's go back to the training room. Am I near the training room? Yeah, the training room is here. Right, again, you've left this in an area. Hello. Ah, I can actually pick you up. Right, so were you done? No, you are almost done. Uh, so I need a security guard. Janitor, veteran, yeah, I need a security guard. Uh, job, security, level. Uh, there is a dude here, Calgus, that's like level one. 
Let's just find the first one. So you're about to level up as well. Bard. No, Bard is already at level 20. So you are our next. Okay. Poncia. I believe we've got Poncia as a... As a I believe we've got a, a scientist called Poncia as well. Right, in you go. Train, my friend. Level up. If you level up, you get paid more. We do look after our staff here. Right, so that is in the last two exhibits. I will dress up this bit, this bit round the edge here. This area in here, because I think I'm going to get some more food and stuff. Definitely going to need some toilets over here. We do have a new Brachiosaurus. Pop. Oh, I can't see you. Eggshells in the way. Osbert. It's a cool name. I like it. I like Osbert. So Osbert is in. He should level up. We will build out the Rex enclosure here. And then what we'll do is we'll let people into the park and see how they get on. Uh, I would imagine the frame rate is going to suffer massively. Uh, this is not obviously hugely highly graphically graphic fidelity sort of game. But it's got a lot of vibrant colours. I love the art style of this. I think it's amazing. But yeah, once people start roaming around, it's going to tank. Especially at 4K. We might actually bring the next episode down to 2K because I believe it will hold steady 120 frames at 2K. But we've got our last two common and uncommon dinosaurs in. Uh, the, obviously, the Brachiosaurus a classic. It's not as big as I thought it would be. It's the seismosaurs. The seismosaurs are absolutely humongous. Uh, we've also got apatosaurs as well that are sort of higher tier. I mean there are quite a lot of dinosaurs. Ah, actually what I want to do right is we'll go in here. So Oviraptor, so that's one. Carnotaurus two, Spino. Coelophysis 3, 4, Apatosaurus, 5, Cosmoceratops, and Tyrannosaurus Rex is going to go in there. Ornithomimus. Ugh. Right, what I should do then is go to the shop and check something out. So, all. Tease your grass from mud, all. Is there no way to change it by gem type? I think all the gem types are there. So there were 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right, hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8, un uh, eight common dinosaurs. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's 16 common and common dinosaurs that's fine uh, let's head down now there's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten up to hispiosaurus ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty uh oh 21 22 Ooh, so 22 22 dinosaurs and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Where am I going to find room for the rest of those enclosures? I was going to keep the raptors and stuff. Some of these larger paddocks I may have to make smaller, possibly. Uh, some of these are larger than they need to be, especially this one. But I don't think I'm going to have room if it in six other dinosaurs. But we'll see how we get on. But yeah, we shall leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment or dislike, please feel free to do so. 
and if there is more you would like to see in the future then hit that subscribe button but i've been danny men this has been parksaurus and i will catch you later hello friend <laughs>